Woody and Buzz, best of pals. <laughs> Who'd have believed it? None of us who lived up in Annie's room thought they'd ever get along. Especially on that day Andy got Buzz as his favorite new birthday gift. Oh, did that lead to trouble. Because up till then, Woody had always been number one. And once Sid and Scud here got in on the act, things got really bad. But I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let me tell you what you can do here. If you want to read and play in the story, click over there now. Click on that picture of me with the book, and you could just sit back and listen. Or you can click on this picture of me, and we're out of here. Now, if you're playing in the story and you want to move on, use Buzz's badge here. Click this arrow, and you'll go on to the next scene. Click that arrow, and you'll go to the scene before. And that rocket in the middle brings you right back here. See that little picture of me at the top? Click it when you want me to tell you something over again. And this photo album here is really handy. It can take you straight to your favorite part of the story. Just use the arrows on the bottom corners to turn the pages, and then click on the photo you want to visit. Well, that's about it. So, where to? Okay, so let me tell you how this business between Woody and Buzz got started. It was right before the move to the new house, and we were having a staff meeting. Woody was reminding us we all needed a moving buddy when he snuck in a piece of news that made me lose my change. Okay, uh, oh yes, uh, one minor note here. Andy's birthday party's been moved to today. What the <laughs> Just, just, there you go, okay. I'm sure that Andy won't get a toy that replaces any of us. What if Andy gets another dinosaur? A mean one! I just don't think I can take that kind of rejection! Tuesday night's plastic corrosion awareness meeting was, I think, a big success. And we want to thank RC for putting that on for us. Thanks, RC.
Everybody had to get back to their places before Andy got there. We needed all the help we could get. Okay, let's try and get everybody back into position. We can see everybody's shadow where they're supposed to be, so let's pick them up and drag them to their shadows. Never doubted you for a second. Hey, thanks! Now, for the army man! Mission accomplished. Good job, deputy! To go on, click the right wing on Buzz's badge. To help more toys get back to their places, click on the shadow, the thermometer, or me talking. Okay, let's try and get everybody back into position. No one ever helped Rocky before. <laughs> okay, this works for me. Never doubted you for a second. Robot is the last one. Robot thanks you. Good job, deputy. To go on, click the right wing on Buzz's badge. To help more toys get back to their places, click on the shadow, the thermometer, or me talking. Okay, we're all set. Quick, can I go space? This is where the spaceship lands! Yeah. Kids, come on downstairs, it's time for cake! Look at him! Buzz Lightyear! Brand new and ready for action! Well, it turned out Andy got the coolest toy on Earth! A Buzz Lightyear! I protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion from the evil Emperor Zerg, sworn enemy of the Galactic Alliance. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue! Buzz Lightyear is here to protect you. Activate glider wings. Woody and all the rest of us couldn't wait to get a look at this newcomer. Buzz Lightyear mission log, starting 4072. My ship has run off course en route to Sector 12. I crash landed on a strange planet. The impact must have awoken me from hypersleep. Terrain seems a bit unstable.
on my moving, buddy. What else can you do, Mr. Lightyear? I'll show you. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue! Terrific! Not bad! Great! Well, Dreamy. Weak. Howdy, partner. My name is Woody, and this is Andy's room. This is my spot. See the bed here? Local law enforcement. It's about time you got here. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Uh uh. Careful with that. You might hurt somebody. Hey! Why don't you be more careful? Say, you wouldn't happen to have any uh, souvenirs or things like that, would you? Why, yes, I happen to have a spare horse nebula carbonickel. Hey, thanks, Buzz! Uh, 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 please be careful. You don't want to be in the way when my laser goes off. It's not a laser! It's a little light bulb that blinks! What's with him? by a Buzz Lightyear. Great! Ooh, wow! Ooh. In no time at all, Buzz became Andy's favorite toy. Things were changing way too fast for poor Woody. Oh no, not more of this! This is not happening to me! This is not happening! Think happy thoughts, la 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 la! I will not be replaced! I'm Andy's favorite toy. You'll see. I will not be replaced. I'm Andy's favorite toy. You'll see. This is not happening to me. This is not happening! Think happy thoughts. La 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 la! Look, I'm a cowboy! Howdy, howdy, howdy! This is not happening to me. This is not happening. Think happy thoughts. La 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 la. Thank you. 
Well, things really got out of hand when Mom said Andy could only bring one toy to Pizza Planet. Woody wanted to be that one toy. Oh, Buzz! Buzz Lightyear! Buzz Lightyear! Thank goodness! We've got trouble. A helpless toy. It's... it's trapped, Buzz! Okay, let's see if this chain reaction works. Hmm, the chain isn't working. If you stop all the moving toys in the right position, then I'll be the one to go to Pizza Planet. Seems like Rex wasn't looking in the right direction. Keep trying. like the fan wasn't pointed in the right direction. Try again. With just a few more pieces in place, Buzz will be out of my way. Looks like the ball wasn't in the right place. Keep trying. Looks like the ball wasn't in the right place. Keep trying. Looks like the rocket was pointed too high. Try again. Looks like the rocket was pointed too low. Keep trying. Guys? Woody was in big trouble now, but before the toys could do anything, Andy grabbed him to go to Pizza Planet. Woody knew that without Buzz, he couldn't set foot in the room again.
Woody got a big surprise when they stopped for gas. Buzz had hitched a ride on the van, and boy, was he mad! So you tried to terminate me, huh, Sheriff? Okay, come on! You want a piece of me? You bet! Uh Hmm, clearer. It's a liquid. Pizza Planet, that's where Andy is. But wait, I can't show my face in that room again without Buzz. Buzz! Buzz! I found a spaceship! Well then, let's climb aboard. <laughs> Once they made it to Pizza Planet, Woody started looking for Andy. But all Buzz wanted was a spaceship to take him home. Coast clear, Sheriff. Sugar-coated candy now on sale in the side room. Buzz Lightyear, I come in peace. This is an intergalactic emergency. I need to commandeer your vessel to Sector 12. Who's in charge here? The Claw. The Claw is our master. The Claw chooses this is who ludicrous. will go and who will stay. Sorry, Sheriff. Lift off. We're in big trouble now. If we don't find Andy by tomorrow morning, it'll be me and Light Snack forever. Sheriff. Buzz? Sheriff? Buzz. Oh. 
Sorry, Sheriff. All right, the crane game! Woody and Buzz were both too busy to notice who else was at Pizza Planet. Sid Phillips! When Sid put the quarter in the crane game, he had no idea what the claw was going to grab. You have been selected to lead my people to freedom. Select my humble servants according to the tablet of claw and order. To do that, click on the toys in the crane game that match the ones on the Pizza Planet board. You have been selected to lead my people to freedom. Select my humble servants according to the tablet of claw and order. To do that, click on the toys in the crane game that match the ones on the Pizza Planet board. Very good, Cosmic Warp Rider. Very good, extraterrestrial ranger. Very good, Subspace Wanderer. Very good, Universal Rover.
You have been selected to lead my people to freedom. Select my humble servants according to the Tablet of Claw and Order and place them in the backpacks of destiny. To do that, click on the toys in the crane game that match the ones on the Pizza Planet board, then drag them to the backpacks that match the ones on the board. Very good, Deep Space Tourist. Very good, Cosmic Traveler. Very good, interplanetary migrant. Very good, spacefaring Voyager. You have been selected to lead my people to freedom. Select my humble servants according to the Tablet of Claw and Order and place them in the backpacks of destiny. To do that, click on the toys in the crane game that match the ones on the Pizza Planet board, then drag them to the backpacks that match the ones on the board. Very good, Neutron Navigator. Very good, faster than light journeyman. Thank you.
Very good, Interstellar Flyer. Very good, Suborbital Nomad. Very good, Galactic Sailor. All right, double prizes! Woody and Buzz were now in the hands of Sid Phillips, the toy's worst nightmare. Buzz and Woody had to spend a creepy night together in Sid's room. That's where they started to work things out. Huh? What was that? I don't know, Sheriff. Doesn't anyone have a flashlight they could shine around in here? Please get down, Sheriff. Toy-bound outlets in the Tri-County area. Sheriff, do you hear something? Sheriff? Oh, there you are, Sheriff.
Sorry, Sheriff. Buzz, we don't have time for that now! Oh, sorry, Sheriff. I do not like it here. Hey there, little fella. Sheriff, this is no time for a nap. It came! It finally came! <laughs> the big one. What am I gonna blow? Yeah, the Buzz Lightyear. Woody had to act fast to save Buzz and get home by moving day. He got all Sid's toys together to plan their big escape. All right, everybody think about their part of the plan. Now, the three of you will stack up so you can open the door. See if you can figure out which order the three of you should go in. If you want me to show you, just click on my pencil. Wind the frog. Perfect. That's exactly how the plan's supposed to go. Legs, you and Ducky will move out through the duck. Dog. Remember, we have to avoid Scud. 
We can't let Sid blow up Buzz. Let's get down there. Ducky, swing harder and harder until you can hit the doorbell. You'll need to move left or right so you can swing into the doorbell itself. Down there. Now, the th Okay, babyface. Now, you'll have to steer us down the stairs. Click on the part of the next step you want to move to, but try not to step on anything. If you want me to show you what one way down would be, just click on my pencil. The plan was a success. They made it out of the house and into the backyard. It was time to give Sid Phillips the shock of his life. I'm talking to you, Sid Phillips. We don't like being blown up, Sid. Or smashed. Or ripped apart. We? That's right. We, your toys. You must take good care of your toys. If you don't, we'll find out. We toys can see everything. No! <laughs> You have angered the claw. Oh no, no!
So remember, Sid, play nice. <laughs> we did it! You guys were great! Buzz, we've got to get you out of there! No problem. Buzz was free, but there was no time to celebrate. He and Woody had a moving van to catch. Buzz and Woody had to avoid Scud while trying to catch the moving van. It took every toy in the van to get Woody and Buzz on board. Try to figure out how to get them up here. Oh, okay, let me think. Look, see, my arms aren't long enough. Me help, potato head. Hey, let go, let go. Ah, hey, what do I look like, Mr. Taffy Pole? Me help, Woody. <laughs> Try to figure out how to get them up here. Oh, okay, let me think. Oh no, it's Scud! Me help, Woody! That should slow him down for a while. I 
always knew what he was telling the truth. Yes, sir. First, he... let's try to figure out how to get them up here. Oh, okay, let me think. Look, see? My arms aren't long enough. Me help, potato head. Hey, let go, let go! Ah, hey, what do I look like, Mr. Taffy Poe? Somebody throw me a line, quick! Get real. We, we have, have no, no arms. arms. It is Buzz! Woody was telling the truth! Great! Now I have guilt! Quit! Hold on to my tail! We did it! Woody and Buzz were safe! Now on to the new house! That Christmas, we learned from Woody and Buzz that we could relax the next time there were new presents. You are not worried about what's in these presents, are you? Me? No. Nope. No, 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 no. Are you? Now, Buzz, what could Andy possibly get that's worse than you? Well, one thing I've learned from all this is that I never want to be separated from all you guys again. Well, except maybe you, Potato Head. <laughs> oh. Maybe Andy will get another dinosaur, like a leaf eater. That way I could play the uh, dominant predator. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Who am I? Danger! Danger, Will Robinson! <laughs> Mrs. Potato Head, Mrs. Potato Head. Hey, I can dream, can I? Well, one thing I've learned from all this is that I never want to be separated from all you guys again. Well, except maybe you, Potato Head. <laughs> oh. It was a good thing Woody and Buzz were pals, because the biggest surprise of Christmas <laughs> was yet to come.
If you're sure you want to leave, click on Slinky. But if you want to play some more, click on old Potato Head there. All right, come back to Andy's room real soon.